The and zone. Joe, we've talked a lot about this, the Eras Tour, yes, right? Yes, we so have. We know about the phenomenon, the phenomenon that it has. One of the tours of the year. Yep. And so, uh, also, let's not sleep on the Barbie movie. One of the biggest things to happen in, in movies the year. in a while. But do you realize the two of those combined are giving the economy enough help that it may be preventing a recession? I'm okay. no, no joking. Emily Peck Taylor with Axios. Swift and Barbie are saving us from, yes. from okay, let's go. Talk Emily about Emily Peck it. with Axios reported on this. She's live with us now to break it all down. And Emily, they're calling this the Goldilocks economy. Oh, what exactly does that mean? So it means the economy is not too hot and it's not too cold. It's kind of just right. Um, we're out of the, the time, out of the moment where inflation was going really wild. It's really moderated a bit. That's the not too hot, not too hot part, and the not too cold part is that people are spending money, especially on what we like to call experiences, yeah. aka Taylor Swift, and of course, the Barbie movie um, and things like that. So it's really keeping the economy in balance right now. And no joke, Taylor Swift is showing up. Her her tour is showing up in economic data, and wow. you know the Barbie movie opening last weekend was the one of the biggest movie openings on record, especially, and the biggest for a women director, of course. So you mean we can actually draw a straight line to how well the economy's doing and to Taylor Swift ticket sales and Barbie ticket sales? Is that what I'm hearing? That's what you're hearing. Okay, that is just what I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not driving the whole economy. The, the U.S. economy is massive, massive, sure. massive. But I mean, these are big deals and they are an indicator of what's happening in the economy right now. And what's happening is girl power is running the show. I mean, people are spending on doing stuff. They're traveling, they're going to concerts, they're going to the movies, they're spending on living. Yeah, and I mean, to put this even yeah, into more context, uh, they're saying that people are, instead of going to just one concert, they're making it a weekend experience, yeah, spending so, more money. So that's hotel right? money and right. lodging and restaurants mm -hmm. get the benefit. Right, and so that's what we're talking about. again. And then, as you said, it's not that it's saving the entire economy, but it is certainly putting a dent in a, in a certain part, which is giving it a little boost, right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, for example, with Taylor Swift again, to go back to Tay, um, you know, her concert's going to grow something like a billion dollars, but wow. spending related to those concerts could go as, mm, as high as $462 billion, according to one prediction. And that's exactly what you said. It's spending on the restaurants, the hotels, you know, the Taylor Swift themed donuts that you need to buy when you go see Taylor Swift, all of that is really giving the economy the boost. And people, a lot of people are still working from home and they have time to take these, you know, take these longer trips and make sort of an event out of what used to be a one night experience. Did you say $462 billion generated because of yes. a billion dollar tour? Yeah, that's what I said, exactly. Because, you know, you think about what? it, you buy the ticket. I'm telling you, you buy the ticket, <laughs> you spend two nights out of town, you know, you stay at a hotel, buy you're buying outfit. out. You gotta get an outfit. Some women and men, I suppose, too, are hiring designers, so they have, like, right. the perfect what? thing to wear. And listen, yeah. Emily, we haven't wow. even thrown in the Beyonce effect because she now her North American tour just began. So I'm sure that's also going to add a little bit of a girl power boost to the economy, adding to it even more. I love it. Yes, I can't wait to see that. We know that um, when Beyonce was on tour overseas, um, I believe it was the country of Norway yeah. saw a higher inflation because people were traveling there, spending more money, the same thing I just talked about. So I'm um, really, we're watching at Axios to see if we're gonna see a Beyonce bump also. All right, Emily Peck with Axios, girl talk power. about girl power. Who I gotta run give the, the world? Girls, girl. girls. Who run the world? Girls, I love <laughs> it. We're so happy you were down for the girls. Oh yeah, oh, I'm, down. I'm a girl Emily, dad. Thank you for